Hi and a very really good morning to all professors, prof limbs, doctors, uncle, aunties and all my fellow friends And I would like to wish everyone a very happy Chinese New Year And this year is a rabbit year in Chinese is called Tu Nian And I would like to wish everyone in Chinese Gong Si Fa Tai Wan Si Ru Yi Da Ji Da Li Sen Ti Jian Kang Nian Nian You Yi Ping Ping An An for everyone Ping Ping An An is Everyone need to stay strong and everyone need to be in good health. So my name is Roxanne and today I will be doing a Q&A session and thank you everyone for subscribing my channel and I'm so happy about that. And thank you Dr. Sharini about sharing the video. I'm so happy about that. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. And okay, I'm going to um um, I'm going to answer some questions. Um, some very good and um, some very good questions. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, the first question from uh from the caretaker is like, Roxette. Uh, since you ada epilepsy kan, boleh tak you cerita sikit from more until now? Apa experience experience of your epilepsy? Okay, so my experience of my epilepsy is like when I was small. I did mention before, right? I have hemangioma. It's in the right side here. So in Chinese, it's called tai uh tai ji. Tai ji is in this side. This uh U side. This side is in this side. But then my eyes are closed. Right? 是给那个呆机关在这边 So the hemangioma is close uh, Is cover Cover to Cover the whole right eyes here And only my left eyes open So until um, Until I was uh, 4 years old Only my Only Sorry not 4 years old Until I was 3 years old uh my eyes only try my eyes only try to open uh big uh a bit big by big so it's like I need to take steroid injection and two years old that time I don't really know that I have epilepsy because I went to SJMC uh because I fell down actually I fell down from the bed and then uh the doctor just said that uh uh, Roshan, you ada epilepsy lah Sebab uh, kita dah check EEG, MRI, CT scan semua uh, You punya uh, kepala tu kan Dalam otak you ada air But then we didn't know that I have epilepsy My parents didn't know that I have epilepsy So we didn't notice about that So uh, during form 1 I was uh, readmitted to PPUM sebab I jatuh dekat tangga kan I ada cakap dekat first video tu I jatuh dekat tangga So um, I jatuh dekat tangga I was treated by Prof Lim uh, Prosia and Prof Lim So Prof Lim uh, did give me Lemotrigine and Now I was recovered a bit but putting I lost memory this a uh, few months ago so um people just uh i just lost memory but i don't know why so yeah and i have few question i think like 20 question but i will answer about like 30 uh i think few minutes only because time flies so i will try to answer few minutes so the second question uh is like who is your role model okay so my role model is like who is my role model so my role model is like my role model is my mom my grandmother my dad my teacher at school in hospital is prof lim siu tim dr fong and all the nurses in the ward and sometimes if i'm like Having fits in the hospital, right? Sometimes I will be admitted, and then uh, like uh, and then C team will come to the ward and say, Roxanne, 
，加油，你一定能做到的。Like in English is like, I'm saying you can do it. Just go ahead, come on. At all, <laughs> so at all is like you really can do it. So, um, it's like you, you know, when epilepsy patient, right? When the caretaker is taking care of their patient and they see their, uh, their child or their mother or their family is jerking or their family members having their blurry vision. Or their family members having, their family members having uh some kind of epilepsy problem. I'm not sure what kind of epilepsy problem is that, and the caretaker is like, oh, I'm so sad about that. Actually, we are not going to be sad about that. We just need to open, you know, open heart. Because why, epilepsy patient, kita just open heart sahaja. Tak payah nak. Set sangat epilepsy patient Kalau kita set sangat Kita tak boleh je nak set sangat kan Kalau epilepsy tu Nak set Nak buat apa Kalau kita tak jaga dia We are just set We need to jaga juga kan Takkanlah we just need to close heart je Jagalah dia juga We just close heart Kita tak jaga dia Macam mana So For me I just want to say like If you are taking care of the patient or your mother or your grandmother or your child, just don't give up on yourself. You can do it. Seriously, you can do it. Like my mom also. I'm when I was born, I was having fever until now. Until now, my mom didn't even give up. You know. My mom said, "Don't ever give up on anything. Just." Take good care of whatever you are trying to do. Jangan putus asa. In Chinese, we say, Pu yao fang chi. So, this is the main thing I want to tell you guys. For the epilepsy caretaker, don't give up and don't feel sad. This is the main thing I want to tell today. Don't feel sad. Every time I go to the clinic, Last time I did work with Prof Lim, I did hear people said, "Oh, I feel sad because of my epilepsy child." Ada pula alasan macam ni. I feel sad because of my epilepsy child. Ado, just don't feel sad. Just take care of them. They will feel better, right? Just bagi dia makan ubat. Kalau dia tak nak makan ubat, cakap betul betul dengan dia. Simple. Okay, so and the next question is from one of my friend. Ah, uh, Roshan, you ada tak buat apa apa dekat rumah? Okay, ah, uh, good question. I did sell um some some business. I did do something. Ah, uh, it's like a chili sauce, a small bottle. It's only ah uh, two hundred and fifty ml. Um, it's a special home cook chili sauce. Um. Now is sixteen ringgit and delivery fee is not included. And if for those who have, uh, for those who buy um one book of uh one box of the chili sauce, and the delivery fee uh um, uh, sorry uh, if you guys buy like two to three, the delivery fee is not included. Yeah. And there are people asking me, do you still sell the special yolk pastry? Um, no, I'm not selling that anymore. Sebab pasal epilepsy saya tu kan, um, my mom said maybe tak jual biskut lah. So, um, I'm just staying at home, taking care of myself, and yeah. So I have uh one of the patient asking me like. In Chinese, the patient asked me like, "Roxanne, 如果你有这个病的话啦，你怎么样去做工？你怎么样去读书？" Okay, um, this patient asked me like, "Roxanne, if you have this um epilepsy, how you go to school and how you go to work?" So um, I didn't go to school temporary. I'm just sitting at home, um, doing some housework cleaning. And 
I plan I plan to go to school and I I'm not going to school yet actually. I'm just planning maybe um maybe next year after 2023 because um I'm not going yet. I need to see how is my um condition. This year hope nothing nothing will happen. <laughs> like should. So um I hope this year I can just consider nothing happen. So um next year maybe um next year or this uh next year or another year I can just plan to go to school or something. And yeah. And two more questions is like what is your favorite thing that you do at home? So every time when I have free time, right, I will just play some song on the piano or I will just draw some cartoon. So every time I will draw like uh draw some drawing like uh you know cartoon things like I will draw sometimes I will draw Sinchan or Doraemon. I'm not sure about that, but I will draw comics. But comics is like something that is uh something that is um uh, what do you call? Uh I'm not sure how to call that, but something that is, uh, it's like something that is abnormal. But cartoon is normal, right? I will draw something that is abnormal. You know, something that is like abnormal, and then you will like, uh, it's just the things that is like upside down, you know, the things that is upside down, and then it's like something that is, <laughs> the balik kan <laughs> Okay And yeah Okay and uh And the second um And I'm not Sure if the time has passed Okay And the few more question Is like Do you really sing? Yes Actually I really sing But My sound is not really good So for epilepsy patient Actually <laughs> Um, epilepsy patient can actually sing. If they want to learn how to sing, they can actually do whatever they want, actually. Their leisure time is like, they can do whatever they want. They can sing, they can dance, they can do ballet if they want. They can uh, go to some place with their friend, but they need bodyguard. So... Like me, I have three bodyguards. I show you in the video before. Um, I have three bodyguards. Um, one is Rashida, one is Ainin, one is Atira, one is Aina, one is Ain, and one is Abdullah Main. So this uh few bodyguards is like, uh when I go to the uh padang when I can't play in the Feel, uh, when I have PJ right, when I can't play the field, so they will take care of me, and they were like telling me like, Roshan, you duduk sini eh, jangan pergi merata-rata tempat. Ah, uh, nanti kita beli makanan untuk awak. When I'm staying back for Coco, and then they were like take care of me. They were like telling me like, don't go anywhere, and it's like something that is like bodyguard you know like they will follow me everywhere and then they were like telling me like Roshan don't go anywhere okay I will buy food for you uh you don't go like go to the toilet for like I will follow you to the toilet I will follow you to the canteen if you want I will follow you to the whatever place you want to go so this is called bodyguard so Every time when I have, uh, every time when I go to school, I will have these few bodyguards. If the bodyguard didn't come, right, I will ask my teacher, Cikgu, bodyguard saya tak ada ke? And then the cikgu will say like, uh, ada, bodyguard dua tu ada. Tapi ada lagi satu, tak datang lagi. So, I will say, alah cikgu, bodyguard lagi satu, mana? <laughs> so, my teacher is like, okay lah, duduk lah dulu. And then I was like, ah, okay lah, okay lah. And then the teacher was like, okay. And I was just telling like to all the patient in the, in this world that have epilepsy, right? 
um, try to do something that you guys like and try to manage your stress or try to um, you know try to learn to do something that you like or try to manage your anger you know some epilepsy patient right when i was working with prof lim and they were like um they were like taking their anger for all the things and then they were like taking so much anger to all the people in the clinic and they were just like so disappointed i'm not sure why are they so disappointed and they were just like I'm so disappointed. I want to see Prof Lim as fast as possible. And I say Prof Lim is not here yet. Can you just uh, have a seat first? And I will just do my work. And I will just like... Uh, I will just like do my report for some patient that is coming. And also I will just like... Um, fill in some form in the clinic because I'm just uh, helping out in the clinic and also um, about the epilepsy thing I'm not thinking about the epilepsy thing at all so I'm just helping out and also on the support group I'm also just helping out and I'm not thinking about anything so yeah and the patient is like Taking so much anger on their self and they have fits in the clinic. So I'm not sure why are they taking so much anger on their self. And I just told them not to take so much anger on their self and try to just be calm and just have a sip first. But they are like, okay, 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 and they're not doing their job. So I feel like Maybe they need to just have a seat and maybe just go and have something to do like go to have a break or go to have a coffee with their friend like you know sometimes go to have a coffee or go to have a shopping like me, I always go to have a shopping with my mom. And my mom said, you need to have a good mood, okay? Then we said, okay? And I said, thank you, mommy. You are my role model. Yeah. And I would like to thank you, everyone, again, for giving me so much support. And thank you, Dr. Sharini, Prof. Lim. And also my role model, Lies You Team. Sister Lies You Team for everything that you have done to me and also um all the people in the clinic and also i have a new uh new caretaker that who is like supporting not supporting actually they are like asking me question like i need to answer a few question in my whatsapp so i feel like it's um i did um I did what do you say sorry um I feel happy about that actually because for epilepsy patient right we cannot just always feel sad and we cannot just always feel like um oh I gonna bully so I gonna feel sad no we cannot always feel like that so we need to just like you know feel happy be happy, be strong, jangan putus asa, don't give up. Like what I say before, I already say this few times. Puya fang chi, don't give up, jangan putus asa, kan? So, kalau korang rasa, korang dah, uh, kalau korang rasa, korang dah, dah apa? Dah rasa macam sedih sangat, duduk dalam bilik, dengar lagu, ataupun... Pergi cari doktor, cakap dengan doktor, doktor akan nasihat kamu, nasihatkan korang semua. Ah, korang boleh lah fikir apa yang korang boleh buat. So, if the if you guys are feeling sad, right, you guys can go and see a doctor and the doctor will advise you what to do. 
and the doctor will say and the doctor will advise you what to do and you just listen to what the doctors advise what the doctor has advised you and you can follow the doctor's advice so every time when i listen to prof lim's advice or either you team's advice i will listen and i will follow so um before i end the video let us just listen to some music that i have played so let us all enjoy some interesting music and i hope you guys enjoy Okay, so um, before I end this video, I'd like to thank you everyone again for um, viewing my video and subscribe on this video. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you Prof. Dim and Dr. Sherini for sharing this video to everyone in the group. And thank you everyone again for... Um, uh, thank you everyone again for giving me such a good support when I was in the ward or when I was in in the hospital, going in and out of the hospital, especially um, Sister Suti and also my mom, my dad, my grandmother and also my family members and also some of my friend, like I said before, my bodyguard. And I hope everyone enjoy their Chinese New Year and... I hope everyone that have epilepsy, um, jangan putus asa, don't give up, 不要放弃, okay? 你们一定能做到的, okay? 不是说电子病发作不了吗, 对不对? 你们一定能做到的, 你们可以去找一点东西来做, okay? You guys can go and find something and do, like, 
you can go to find a job like no stress job you can go and find something that is like um good for you you can go and find something that is happy for you you can go and find something that is funny for you okay and um you guys can go and see something that is like you know something that is big and something that is open minded like i did um uh, i think i did say before in the i think few videos if i'm not mistaken is few videos okay and i think it's the few videos i did tell you guys before right you need to be open minded open hearted like you know epilepsy patient right jangan just putus asa everything you just need to be open minded kan so every time kalau kita just uh, open minded we can just do anything we want to do we don't need to just like oh kalau kita uh, apa kalau kita uh, close hearted we cannot do anything we cannot go to school we cannot go to uh, we cannot go to school we cannot go to anything kan so we need to try our best to like go to everything that we know everything that we understand we need to do everything that we know we need to do everything that we understand kan so um i think i really need to end this video because time really flies not flies actually time really flies okay um thank you again for the support everyone and I hope you guys really enjoy this uh Luna Chinese New Year. So, um, 祝大家一个快乐的新年快乐，大家平平安安，万事如意，顺顺利利，加油 ！And I hope everyone will, um, everyone will enjoy their Luna Chinese New Year. So, selamat jalan and have a safe day, everyone and. Come on, day.